Hey, and welcome back YouTube fans. Today, we have a few products to introduce to you, and specifically uh, the Starlink Mini, and uh, some things which we picked up from Harbor Freight, which is this Predator solar battery pack and solar panel. So, um, the intent was to use them in a together um, so let's let's do the unboxing here for the Starlink real quick and uh, the reason we had to get those other devices because Starlink does not offer a battery pack for this that we know of. Bend that like that first. So when you open your Starlink, you have some obvious instructions. Picture on the cardboard. And I was right, this will fit in your backpack. Look at that. Now, Elon Musk said it, but if you don't know, this symbol, well, that's the, that's the path to Mars right there from Earth. According to Elon Musk. Okay, so this is a little kickstand. And I guess that's for the other type of cable. This is a long cable. I did not know it was going to be that long, but that's nice. I don't see the ends, like invisible ends or something. Um, I guess that comes with a pole mount already. That's kind of cool. It's a small pole mount, by the way. It's not the big pole. So it's not the, it's, it's the smaller of the, the fence posts that you get in there. This is the Starlink Mini DC adapter. Now, I have read online, but these don't use a lot of wattage. Um, you, they could work out of a car cigarette lighter if you buy that adapter instead, which I, I didn't want to do. I considered it, but let's just go ahead and take a look at this. Keep that out of there. Maybe still keep the strap. Same on this side. Lose the paper, keep the strap. I don't have any no fingernails, I guess. Okay. Okay, there's the ends. Just, uh, so that's the cable that you're looking at for a Starlink. Some of the other channels didn't actually show these. Um, they just said, okay, here's the cable and they connected, but this is um, just old school uh, plugins for a, a DC current. So, set that there. And I guess this is just regulatory notices in every language humanly possible. So, not like I'm gonna read a regulatory notice. Um, I do wanna point out a joke here 
by the Starlink group. And if you can read that right there, which I'll try to see if I can get the camera a little closer. What's, what's that? That is about Elon Musk's uh, time on the Joe Rogan podcast. Um, that's the number four colon 20. So for any of the uh, old pot smokers out there, that's uh, the, basically the International Pot Smokers Holiday. It's also here. They could have chose a different time, but they didn't. So they chose 420, 100%. So I'm not sure if they're agreeing with marijuana or not. I'm not a fan of marijuana. You know, everybody has their time in high school, but now I guess it just sits on there. So that's what that is, and it is really small. You can see it's with the size of my hand. You can you can see the size of my hand, that's what that is. So now we want to go into this piece here. So, we'll move the Starlink out the way. We'll just do two and one. A lot of people that buy Starlink, they want to be able to do it, to have something so that they can go places, right? So this is from Harbor Freight. I know, Harbor Freight but they've been producing some pretty cool stuff lately. So this is a foldable solar panel and it gives you 100 watts of power to charge specifically this little guy. And of course there's magnets that uh, are here and on the other side to, uh, to lock it together. And what's in here is connectors for MC4 connectors to connect to the solar panel. They will also connect to just about any other solar panel. Um, car charger for that device there. So this one, this one, and this one came with the Predator box itself. And you get it as a kit, what comes with the solar panel is um, basically MC4 connectors from solar to a power output and cables with MC4 connectors with some small PV wire that'll match up to 100 uh, watts and some pins. And why it has pins, I'm gonna put these back in here because this is how I plan on carrying it around in the back of the car or something. This here, there's one just like this on the other side, and uh, you can pin directly through these holes. And the holes are in a couple of different places, uh, like at the top, which has a nice handy carrying thing here, but these ports here can also be used for carrying it or pinning it. Again, same strap on the other side and it's like a canvas type stuff so it's pretty sturdy get that out of the way so 
And then there's this here. So I'm just gonna bring this onto the solar panel here. This has two USB A's, which are 12 watts. It has a USB C up to 100 for your laptops. Right? There's a button to turn on the USB. There's also a cigarette lighter port and two 120 volts of AC current. Um, 294 watt hours um, and 350 running watts. So I was looking online for a battery pack for the Starlink with, and then I saw that they had this with solar. And then I was like, wait a minute, they have the same thing at Harbor Freight. And Harbor Freight is usually cheaper and it's here close. So if I get it and it's not working, I can just take it back real quick and, and swap it out or get my money back. And it's not very heavy. It's, it's not very big at all, right? Like obviously this is not big, okay? Um, but keep note, do fully charge it as soon as you get it. Um, or you void the warranty. But then you just need to make sure you keep it charged every three months. And that's to keep the battery from just dying out completely on you. Uh, Right here is where those cables that have MC4 connectors for the solar panel, it also has this uh, proprietary um, connector here for the DC input from solar. Okay. This does say 120 watts max, right? Between 12 and 30 volts. So, um, and of course, a power plug for charging it at home when you're at home. So you can charge this um, when you're on the go. And um, I charged it up last night. Um, I will be testing it out um, and giving a review on it. I'm not sponsored by any of the stuff that, that I've shown here in this video. Um, I didn't get any discounts at all. Um, all I really did was just buy it retail, and since I have a YouTube channel, um, and a lot of it's dedicated towards uh, off-grid living in solar, um, and, and being able to get away for, um, like, you know, vacations, or away out of the woods, away from society, to just clear your head. So if you live in a large city, like, I used to live in a bigger city, and my wife came from a, a, a metropolitan area, um, but, uh, you know, being out in the woods and the mountains, it's very relaxing as opposed to always being running somewhere, etc. And that's why we're kind of doing what we're doing. Um, this here is because we want to take some trips to like the Grand Canyon or some other places. And, uh, well, we want to be able to have my wife drive during the day. I can drive some at night or whatever. Um, and just travel around the U.S. Um, and Canada um, and maybe up into Alaska um, and still be connected to the internet. Um, what is nice about the Starlink with this is um, if you think about it, now I can charge from anywhere because this takes about three hours to charge with the solar panel. Two hours if you're plugged into the wall. But with the Starlink Mini, it works in many nations by default with the regular $50 a month plan uh, for the, the Rome. 
And with that $50 a month plan, I, if we want to go to Canada, Mexico, if we want to go to um, pretty much anywhere that Starlink has service, I don't have to pay any additional charges unless I'm going out in the middle of the ocean. Up to 12 miles offshore, this will work pretty easily without any additional cost. That's what I understand. Um, at just regular at the 50 bucks a month charges. Um, now I did pay the, whatever the retail price of this is today. Um, I did hear that in the future, they're going to try to go down to a couple hundred dollars, but this, this was not $200 like Elon Musk was saying he wants to go because they haven't gotten that far yet. So, um, but I'm really looking forward to this. Um, absolutely looking forward to this and I'm going to be testing this out today because um, I'm going to try to take the family out on a uh, an adventure because we like adventures adventures are good no it doesn't even snap down it just kind of folds if you're wondering that just folds up it doesn't it doesn't snap in um, I do know that if you supposedly pull up on this it comes out and that's why you can use the pole mount, right, and snap it in place if you're going to have it in the place for a longer period of time. But I don't plan on doing that. Um, I will get the uh, roof mount later for my car. Um, the, the one that just kind of locks on to the luggage rack. So, it's a shout out to uh, Elon Musk. Pull that up a little bit. There's a shout out to Elon Musk. Um, Brother man, start sending these, or at least offering an option to purchase um, the Starlink Mini. Maybe even just put it as a separate buy, a to-go power supply that will actually fit in someone's backpacks. Maybe something low profile that maybe comes up this high, right? And maybe can charge from a cigarette lighter or a wall panel or electrical or from maybe even solar but you need to start producing that because everybody else is going and spending hundreds of dollars on this other stuff and you're losing that revenue so elon musk if you ever watch that video this video here you need to build your own one of these please more people will buy direct from starlink um, than have to go out and buy one separately they're already buying the product all right everybody i hope you enjoyed the video um no, I sound a little boring today, but I just kind of wanted to share this information. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Um, it, it really does help to get the information out to everybody else. Thank you.